There are multiple ways to teach a puppy to sit, but we're going to teach it with a clicker. I'm going to teach a sit with a clicker. I'm going to have my clicker in one hand. In the other hand, I'm going to take a little treat. JD, come on over here. I'm going to start with the treat at JD's nose, and I'm going to lift the treat up and toward her tail. As I do this, it should cause her head to go up and her bottom to drop. The instant that her bottom drops, I click my clicker and give her the treat. There you go. Precise timing is going to be really crucial in this trick, so you want to make sure you click the exact instant that her bottom drops, and that's how she knows what it is she did to earn the treat. Now, there are a couple problems you may encounter. The first is a puppy that keeps jumping at your hand. Yeah, that problem usually happens if you're holding your treat too high. You want to start at nose height and move the treat a little up and toward their tail. Very good. The second problem that you may encounter is a puppy that just keeps backing up instead of sitting. That usually happens if you're just moving your treat straight back instead of up and back. Instead, we want to lift that head up. There you go. Very good, JD. Let's give that a shot with some other puppies. Sit. Good. And again. Good. A sit is often the first trick a puppy learns, and puppies as young as eight weeks can learn it. Now that your puppy is able to follow your food lure to get himself into a sit, we're going to start to fade the lure and do it without a treat in our hand. Instead, we're going to take our hand and make the same motion without the treat. Then I click and give her the treat from my pocket. Very good. And this later becomes our hand signal for the trick. Very good. And our cue word, sit. Good job. Let's recap this trick. 